Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new collection from Good Night Polish. They are a small indie brand on Instagram. They're based in New Jersey. They were very kind to reach out to me to see if I wanted to test out any of their polishes. And so they sent me their new collection, which is the Roll for Initiative collection. And it is a D&D themed collection, which I know some of you would be excited about. I'm not a very big D&D person. I've played a little bit, but I'm always a fan of collections that involve other fandoms. Now, a little bit about Goodnight Polish. They are a handmade indie brand. They do small batches. They're 10 free, cruelty free, and vegan. So if those are things that, you know, check your boxes, maybe give them a little look-see. It's not very often that I get to play around with super small indies. So I'm always excited when that happens. Now a little bit about the Roll for Initiative collection. There are four polishes in this collection. However, today I'm gonna to be showing you five as they added a bonus polish in my package. So I'm very excited to be showing you that as it is a yellow polish and I've just been having a craving for yellows lately. If you wanted to buy the whole collection, you can get that for $36. And if you wanted to buy individuals, you can get those for $10. So now that you've heard a little bit about the brand and this collection, let's jump into the swatches. Our first polish is What's Kraken. I do love a good pun and I do love a good green polish. This is a slimy green crelly with a blue shimmer. And I always like it when polishes have an additional special effect. They don't just stick to one thing. I really like this polish and I love the description of it on the website even more. Definitely check out the descriptions. There's obviously a lot of time spent on writing something absolutely beautiful for these polishes, especially because they're on themed, which is always great. Now, I did have to apply a little bit extra on this polish because I like things to be pretty opaque, but it is a Crelly, so do keep that in mind. I really can't stress how much you should be reading these descriptions, especially for Glimmer of Hope. I really enjoyed the description of this, and unfortunately I was having a really bad cold hands day and I couldn't quite get this polish to transition while I was filming. This is a thermal, if you couldn't tell by my excuse making, but it is a very beautiful blue with glitter all on its own. I did take a picture of what this thermal looks like. Unfortunately, we had some very cold weather in Oregon and I was only able to get it to shift to the silvery taupe on my own while I was desperately snuggled underneath my heated blanket. Next up is Feeling Faint, which is a bold purple polish with a green shimmer. This actually reminded me quite a bit of one of the polishes from the Kelly Marissa Orally collection. I thought that this was a really good dupe for that polish. I really enjoyed this formulation quite a bit. I think the Crellies with the shimmer from this brand are really well done and I think you would be very happy wearing them. I liked the opacity on this one a little bit more than the green. As you can see, it performed really nicely. Definitely check it out. Now this one was my favorite from the collection and it's a multi-chrome and I, you know how much I love a purple, yellow, gold multi-chrome. Now this one performed very similarly to Hollow Taco's multi-chromes. I really liked how this multi-chrome was made. To me, this is a true multi-chrome. Eye of the Beholder is just a stunning purple in some sunlight with a kind of yellow bronzy gold shift to it. Unfortunately, multi-chromes suck at showing up on camera, but this one is definitely one I would recommend. Next up is our bonus polish. This is Dreadful Daffodils and it is a beautiful yellow crelly. I like this one quite a bit. It was definitely on the sheer side. However, a lot of brands 
when they make a yellow crelly they're pretty sheer i really enjoyed the additional yellow and i cannot wait to wear this one in the summer i think it is going to be a polish that i return to quite often i think i'm going to paint my toenails this color next i just something about yellows scream summer and i am so ready for summer overall i'm really excited to see what this brand comes out with next now, I found it very exciting that we saw a variety of formulations from this brand as they're still quite new. And I tend to see a lot of smaller brands stick to one formulation and multiple colors for their first couple of launches. However, I think it's always fun when we're seeing a variety of formulations to pick from. That way, I feel like people are able to purchase one or two polishes that might speak to them a little bit more than feeling like they either need to skip the whole collection or they need to buy the whole collection. So that was very exciting for me. Now, did I find this to be a overall revolutionary collection? No, I did not. However, I was quite satisfied with how everything performed. And I do always like to support indie brands, especially small indie brands. I think this was a really good step in the nail polish world. I'm not quite sure if this is their first collection or if we're a couple of collections down the line. I think this is just a fun kind of collection. I am excited to see what they do in the future. I really did enjoy the suspension base. Were they a little bit sheer? Yes, but I do find that a lot of indies are on the sheer side. And there was only a couple of polishes that I needed to add a third coat to get an opacity that I was happy with. If you have longer nails, I think you might struggle with some opacity. However, I find that a lot of handmade polishes, there needs to be a little bit of grace as they're not able to spin the formula fast enough kinda to get a super, super opaque formula. However, this was nothing to like smart cat. Overall, very happy with these polishes. If any of these stood out to you, please let me know in the comments down below and definitely check out their website. I think it is a fun concept, especially if you're looking for one of these colors to add to your collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like this video. And if you like my videos, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.